Are you looking to be more effective with your time or money? Do you know that there are probably five ways you're wasting time and money that you didn't even know you were doing? Want to know what those are? Then this video is for you. Yeah. In today's video, we'll be sharing five ways that you're wasting your time and money. And be sure to stay to the end for a bonus tip at the end of the video. If you're new, hi, my name is Luki, and I create educational videos on jobs, careers, and life. If you're looking for some practical tips, advice, and life lessons, subscribe to stay up to date. Last week, I created a slightly different video based on a response to a video from Dr. Gooby. The link to the video is in the pinned comments. Let me know what you think, and be sure to stay until the end to get all the tips to optimize your time and your money. Let's get started. I've coached thousands of people, and these are the top five ways they're wasting their time and money. One is focusing on being efficient instead of effective. Two is being average or less than average in their communication. Three is spending too much time being worried and stressed. Four is letting your relationships wither. And five is forgetting and not learning. Is that a little bit unexpected? Well, let me dive into each one and explain. So number one, focusing on being efficient versus effective. A lot of folks want to get more stuff done. Time is money after all. And what if you can do two things instead of one? Well, why not? Uh, I'm a victim of that thinking as well. I went on a grad trip and as we were looking for options, we found a tour that would do three countries in three weeks. A few cities in each country, not bad. But as we were looking, we found one that went to eight countries, 19 cities in 21 days. So why not? But I often say that I saw a lot of things, but I didn't experience much. We focus too much on quantity instead of quality. And with time, consider focusing on being effective instead of efficient. Efficient is doing things fast. Effective is doing the right things. Oftentimes we're busy, but we're not spending enough time on the right things. Consider the 80-20 rule. We spend 80% of our effort on 20% of our results. What if instead we found the 20% that generates the 80% of our results. And we spend four times the amount of time to get 320%. What you can do is you put your big rocks and spend more time on the important things versus the urgent things. And if you want more help with maximizing your time, you can watch this video. Let's move to number two, being average or less than average in your communication. If you were to rate your communication skills out of 10, what would you give yourself? Many people will say that they're average. They're about a seven out of 10. But what they don't realize is that average isn't seven out of 10. It's actually a five out of 10. School has trained us that an average is a B, a seven out of 10. Whereas average is really in the middle. That's five out of 10. I was an average communicator as well. I was a five out of 10. I had pretty good results, but once I put in some effort to level up my communication, my results started to increase. I researched, learned, and practiced my communication skills. I went from a five to a six, and instead of being booked for one workshop, I got booked for two. Instead of being able to help with one client, I helped two. I researched, learned, and practiced my communication skills some more, and I went up from a six to a seven. Instead of being booked for two workshops, I got booked for four. Instead of helping two clients, I helped four. I'm by no means an expert in communication, though I am light years better than I was before. As I improve my communication skills, how many more people could I help? What else could I do? Remember to like and share this video with a friend and let me know if you have any questions or what you're struggling with in your job search or your career and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Spending too much time being worried and stressed. Mark Wayne, Mark Wayne. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Mark Twain said, I'm an old man and have known a many great troubles, most of which never happened. Basically, that we are often the cause of our own stress and worry on ourselves. Another quote, this time from the Dalai Lama, comes to mind. He says, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Things will happen. The economy is not doing so well. We get sick. We lose the loved one. Pain is inevitable. Now the suffering associated with that event, that's optional. 
when the economy is not doing well, we can focus on what we have and what we can control. When we get sick, we should be thankful that we have people that can be helpful that take care of us. When we lose a loved one, we can celebrate their lives and be thankful for the people that are still around. The mindset shift takes time. Though if we invest in mastering our mindset, that can give us more time and money as a result. You can watch this video for more help with your mindset. If you're finding this video helpful, then why not join the Focus Inspired Academy, which is your gym for career confidence. Go deeper into these concepts and get group coaching to help. Click in the link in the description box below for a free one month trial for supporting the channel. When we were in school, it was easier to stay connected with friends. They would just show up in class and we would meet them at the student club or an event. Now, when you're out in the working world, you actually need to be proactive about cultivating relationships. Someone that I went to elementary school with and then I went to high school with them ended up becoming the CFO of a large commercial real estate company. I had every opportunity to stay connected with him. And if I did, how many opportunities could he have provided? Or how could I have helped him? Now, how many of those people do you have in your lives? Who should you reconnect with? Who could provide you with a great opportunity in the future? That often only happens when you cultivate and nurture the relationship. The good thing is that nurturing those relationships doesn't necessarily take any time at all. Perhaps only 10 minutes every few months? A quick text message, email, phone call, or a coffee to catch up. As they say, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. So perhaps to get more luck, you could prepare your relationships a bit better to foster more opportunities. Be sure to check the community tab to vote on which video you want to see next. Number five is forgetting and not learning. How much time do you spend on things that you forgot? This could be as simple as where you misplace your keys, your wallet, glasses, or whatever. What about a person's name or contact information or other important information? What if you could remember all those things and pretty much everything you've ever learned? How much time would that save you? Plus how many opportunities might you have lost by not remembering that information or not even knowing? Take some time to prioritize learning to learn. Start with your memory. Remember, there's no such thing as a good or bad memory, only a trained or an untrained memory. I'll often do a trick where I start a class and remember the names of each of the 30 or 40 students in the class. That gets their attention and makes me more memorable. As you're learning to improve your memory, pick something else to learn, a language, an instrument, a new technology, whatever is interesting to you. Being a lifelong learner can lead to a longer life and better health. Those are the five areas where most people don't even realize they're wasting time and money. So take time to level up your time management skills and focus on being effective versus efficient. Practice your communication skills and become better than average. Spend more time managing and mastering your mindset to worry and stress less. Cultivate your relationships to get yourself even more opportunities and become a lifelong learner and start by improving your memory. And as promised, in the beginning of the video, a bonus tip. Take some time to track your spending as well as your time. Start with a simple journal on what you spend your money and your time on. You can use tools like Notion, which is free, or whatever suits your note-taking needs. What do you think about the suggestions in the video? Let me know what tips you recommend in the comments or if I missed anything. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips on jobs, careers, and life. And YouTube recommends that you check out these videos next. Until next time, be focused and stay inspired.